Hello, right. I thought I'd just do a quick video because after the Falcons gathering, there's a few people who were quite interested in the GPS tracker that I've been using for about the last four years for my male Harris Hawk. Uh, it's not quite as good as the armor Delta from the size and package point of view, that's much better, but for performance wise, it's much better than that. Um, hopefully we'll get the Iron Delta sorted and if we can get this sort of performance out of that package that'd be perfect But here we go for now. So this is just a tracky pet Which you can get off Amazon or other places uh, It costs $8.99 a month, but you can cancel it when you're not in the falconry season. You're not using it um, The things you'll need you'll get in the box quite a few bits and pieces uh, Let me just open the box up Uh, you get a few carriers and bits and pieces, you don't need any of those. You get the plane tracker itself, which is just blank and smooth. There's a sticker on the back that you have to peel off. I've obviously already done this one, peeled it off. Um, then go around the outside, if you've got grinder or anything, just clean up all the outside and smooth it round. I then bought reflective tape from eBay, because I do a lot of night hawking as well, so it's useful to see. And if it did come off for any reason, you've got a good chance of finding it with torch as well. Once you get close enough, but the signals are really good with it um, in all my area. I'd suggest trying it in your own area first because it depends on the phone signals and stuff. But it is very, very good. It gets you within a few meters. I'll show some more images later of actually in use and tracking. Um, then to mount, uh, I'm using a leg mount that I made. So I've just made up a little view as you can see. And using one of the sort of the cable tie mounts. But the first thing to do is buy, um, it's just slightly smaller on this, but buy the cable tie mount. Clean everything off of it. Get all of the adhesive off of it. Move the lot. Move the sticker off of the back of the tracky pet itself. Um, and give that a slight key. And then if you clean these down, get all the adhesives off of, off of them and rub them down a bit of sandpaper, get them nice and smooth. And then to, to bond this to the tracky pet itself, just use normal pipe adhesive. One that will cover for ABS. Um, you can get screw fix or anywhere else. Just your normal standard um, solvent adhesive for plastic waste pipes and things like that. You can bond that on, make a standard butte to suit the leg with a little button on it. Um, I can do something with dresses, but there's plenty of stuff on the internet for how you, how you make dresses and buttes up. That's fine. Um, and you go to the pet. It's waterproof, charges. It's got about a seven day life. You can have live tracking on it. Um, Seems to work very, very well. I started off using the um, the first Vodafone one, then the second Vodafone one, but earlier this year, Vodafone stopped um, the whole service, and that was quite cheap, about two ninety nine a month and really accurate. I tried an awful lot of GPS systems, and the problem was accuracy and getting signals, and I found with these, I was getting them bang on every time. Uh, whenever I needed it, I was within about five metres all the time, and it's easy, easy to find the bird. Um, it's so convenient to use, I tend to use it more than you would anything else. You know, slightest hint if you can't see them, don't even wait for the bells, just pop your phone out, have a quick look, and you soon find where they are. Track yourself straight onto them. As I say, so I was very disappointed when Vodafone stopped doing it with the curve. So I ended up throwing the curve away, looking around, trying to find something similar again, and found Tracky Pet are actually using what would appear to be exactly the same one as the curve. Uh, you can get it down doing this, it weighs about 28 grams, so just under the ounce. Um, as I say, it's not perfect, but I think the, the round shape of it is partly due to, because I have had one of these apart before with, with the curve to see if I could reduce the weight further, but a lot of the weight's in the battery, which is a seven day life. Um, but also the size of it is mainly driven, uh, I think by the size of the area, which is what's then giving you the really accurate tracking as well. Um, so you can see relatively the size of it. Okay, that's about it. Any questions, put them in the comments. There's also the option to see the history, which you can select various amounts of hours. Okay, so the 
Two screenshots I've shown yeah, up in the top right hand corner. The app's quite easy to use. Um, you've got a little button to tell you to tag straight away. If you tuck on a bit, it's live tracking, it switches it to live tracking. So it spends the next 15 minutes, unless you stop it, but it will automatically stop again after 15 minutes, need to be reset. It will live track, so it will just keep updating constantly, whereas normally you can set the app time that it will track for. Um, and if you touch this sort of the bit that looks like crosshairs, that will update the local tracking. Um, when you press that, you get a little drop down menu. If you put the one that's the arrow, that will show your position, your current position of you, where your phone is um, next to it. But you can also, uh, if you touch on the name at the bottom of the tracker that you're tracking, it will then bring another pop up menu that, that comes up, which I'll try and show on the screenshot. Following this, um, which gives you various options, including sort of sharing out so that you can show someone else who is, or um, export into like Google Maps so you can start picking up on Google Maps and you can see on there um, and that will give you something you can track to the last known position and as I say it gets you, gets you pretty accurate you can see I have a picture of him up in the tree um, you see where he was and there's a photograph from a camera standing from where my position was and you can see him clearly in the tree um, so it does get you right bang on him you can also do geofencing Right, so in summary, just to sort of finish off, and so let's track it back, it's basically the same as the, the unit I've been using for the last four years, I've been using this one um, for this season, but it, it seems to be exactly the same, the app's slightly different to the Vodafone app, um, but the tracking back app's pretty good, um, you can map everything, you can see the satellite views, all the other things you can do in most uh, mapping systems, uh, I believe it works for iPhone as well as um, on Android. Um, it seems to be accurate. I've used it all over the place, all over Bedfordshire. Um, no problems at all. Never had a problem getting a signal. Um, sometimes it's a little bit slower than others, but generally, yeah, it's, all, it's always bang on it's all the time. Um, you know, in the time it takes you to sort of dig out, set up your, your antenna and try and use a radio transmitter, you'll already be underneath your bird. Um, or found it in the bushes, you know, on a rabbit, whatever, you get within a few metres, certainly close to your bells, and you can hear them. Um, it's really, really been bang on. Okay, give it a go.